हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर वेबसाइट ऑटोमेशन कम्युनिटी डॉट कॉम हाउ टू मेक ऑटोमेटिक फॉरवर्ड रिवर्स मोटर कंट्रोल यूजिंग पी एल सी तो लेटस अंडरस्टैंड अवर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट वेन एवर यूजर स्विच ऑन दिस बटन अवर मोटर शुड स्टार्ट एंड रन इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन इट विल रन इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन फॉर टेन सेकेंड्स आफ्टर दैट it should remain off for 5 seconds then motor will run in reverse direction automatically for another 10 seconds and after the 10 second is completed again it will remain off and again start running in forward direction for 10 seconds so this is all about our problem statement here note that we have reduced the forward and reverse running time to show you simulation in actually the forward and running times are greater than this so i hope you have understand our problem statement very well so before moving ahead let me ask you one question can you tell me how many timers we will require to make this program so pause the video and try to think about logic and how many timers we will require to make this program so now we will understand our wiring for this project first of all in our input side we only have one input that is our start stop button so i will connect my source sync terminal to the ground of my smps through this black wire now we will take a 24 volt supply and connect it to one terminal of our start stop switch another terminal of start stop switch we will connect it to x0 position so this is all about our input wiring now we will understand our output wiring what is our output our output is motor which is run through dol starter so si simply this is mpcb and contactor but for forward and reverse we have used two contactors as you can see over here in the one contactor we have given RYB phase and in the other contactor we have interchanged these two phases. But how we will on off this contactor? So we will on off this contactor using relays. And how relays are on off? It will be on off by this digital outputs. So let us understand this wiring. First of all, we will connect ground to the common of each output. Now. we will connect y0 to the one terminal of relay 1 and we will connect y1 to the one terminal of other relay here we have used y0 for forward contactor and y1 for reverse contactor now we will understand the output wiring of relays we will give phase 230 volt to the common of each relay now no contact of relay 1 we will connect it to a1 of forward contactor and a2 of forward contactor is connected to neutral from here similarly a0 no of another relay that is connected to y1 we will connect it to a1 terminal of reverse contactor and a2 terminal of reverse contactor is connected to neutral like this so this was all about our plc wiring for this project now we will understand how to make a logic require for this project and also i am going to answer you that how many timers we will require so first of all let us understand our operation from this graph this is the time in seconds and this is f means our forward contactor as you remember at the zero instant user switch on the button so for the first 10 seconds our forward contactor should be on so here i have indicated it like this now from 10 to 15 seconds that is for 5 seconds both contactors should be off or we can say that motor should be off now from 15 second to the 25th second that is for another 10 seconds my reverse contactor should be on and again now we want to change the direction from reverse to forward so what what should happen again for 5 seconds 
our motor should be off that means both contactor should be off for 25 to 30 seconds so after this 30 seconds again my forward contactor will be on for 10 seconds then again it will remain off then again both contactor will remain off for 5 seconds and in this way this cycle will repeat so here we will use only one timer yes, here there is a one particular sequence of 30 seconds so how i will use this one timer first of all i will write the timer value to 30 seconds now i will compare the present value of timer with a constant value and based on that i will on off my forward contactors how let me show you this part indicates when the value of timer is from 0 to 10 seconds forward contactor should be open similarly if i will check if the value of timer is between 10 to 15 seconds both contactors should remain off and similarly if the value of timer is greater than 15 seconds and less than 25 seconds then my reverse contactor should be on and if the value of timer is greater than 25 seconds and less than 30 seconds at this instant our both contactors should be off and when the timer reaches to the value of 30 seconds it should re restart itself and start from beginning so in this way our cycle will repeat so here i have written steps first of all when the system is on timer should be on now second step is forward contactor should be on until the value of timer t0 reaches the value of 10 seconds that is from 0 to 10 seconds now for 11 to 15 seconds both forward and reverse contactor should be off so our motor will be off for 5 seconds similarly when the value of timer is between 16 to 25 seconds our reverse contactor should be on and from 26 to 30 seconds our both contactor should be off so our motor will be off and when the timer completes its timing we will reset itself and so the process will keep repeating so let's start our programming we'll open our isp soft software from here click on new file click yes the name of your project we will write device command list from here double click over it and this box will open so we have only used one switch so i will write go to outputs so y0 is our forward contactor y1 is our reverse contactor here i have used y2 just for indication of motor whether the motor is on or off so for that i will write we will click on t for timers we have only used one timer so let's write timer only here and close from here now click on programs button right click over it click on new file just click ok over here let us maximize this we will write network comment over here first what we want is to start a timer so just press enter select a contactor from here and here we will write x0 press enter so if the system is on our timer should be on so select over here go to functions block select all types write over here tmr this is mnemonics for timer function 
click insert. So here S1 in the first bit we will write number of timer. We are going to use timer T0. Here we will write its preset value that is 30 seconds, but here we will write 300 because this is the 100 millisecond timer. So if you will multiply 30 into 100 milliseconds, it will be 30 seconds. As I have explained you in my logic, our total cycle is of 30 seconds. Now insert a network from here. Here we will write start forward contactor. Center. First of all, we will check whether the system is on or off. So, for that, we will use this X0 bit. So, select a contactor from here and bring your cursor to this, and here write X0 and press enter. Now, click over here. Here, we want to compare that if the value of timer is less than 10 seconds, then and then only my forward contactor should be on. So for that click on functions block, select comparison instruction. From here we will use this less than equal to sign and press insert. So here I will write T0 and here we will write 100 because here when the timer will be 100 that will be 10 seconds. So here I have written 10 it will be regarded as 10 seconds. So when the value of timer is less than equal to 10 seconds, here we will get one output. So simple, select a coil from here and click over here. Select pointer and write its address Y0, press enter. So this is our forward contactor. Now for all the values of T0 greater than 100, this contactor will be off. Again insert a network from here, here we will write reverse contactor. Now again over here, we will use this X0 bit to know whether the system is on or not. So select a contactor from here, right here X0. Press enter. Now, when the reverse contactor should be on, when the timer, when the value of T0 is greater than 10 seconds, which is 150, and less than 25 seconds, which is 250. So, here we will require two blocks like this. So, again, go to functions block, select greater than equal to sign, and insert. Here, write e0 and here we will write 150 150 means 15 seconds when the value of t0 is greater than 15 seconds reverse contactor should be on again we will go to functions block and select this less than equal to sign and press insert here i will write t0 and here i will write 250 that is if the value of t0 becomes greater than 250 this will not give output and our reverse contactor will be off so what these two blocks represent that when the value of timer is greater than 15 seconds but less than 25 seconds for this duration only my output of reverse contactor should be on so select contact from here and right over here, Y1, press enter. Now again insert a network from here. This line I am writing just for indication of motor is on or not. Press enter. So how I will come to know that my motor is on or off. So if any one of the contactor forward or reverse, any one of these two is on, my motor will be on. 
if both are off then my motor will be off so i will just keep two outputs in parallel so i have created two contacts in parallel and we will draw one output now we will give its address this will be our y0 press enter this will be our y1 press enter and this will be our y2 just for indication purpose press enter over insert network right here reset timer press enter now select a contact and the output coil and name it double click over it and select reset button so when the timing is completed it will reset itself so this was all about our programming for automatic forward reverse control of motor it's hmi designing and simulation we will see in next part of this video thank you for watching guys if you want to learn more examples like this just like and subscribe our youtube channel automationcommunity.com